नेक्स्ट अप वी हैव मूविंग एवरेज कॉन्वर्जेंस डाइवर्जेंस और मैक डी ओके सो नाउ दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इंडिकेटर वेन एवर वी आर डूइंग टेक्निकल एनालिसिस ऑफ एनी स्टॉक और क्रिप्टो करेंसी और कमोडिटी ओके सो दिस इंडिकेटर एक्ट्स लाइक एन ऑसिलेटर ओके सो द वैल्यू इंक्रीजेस और द वैल्यू डिक्रीजेस बिलो अ पर्टिक्युलर लिमिट ओके एंड बेस्ड ऑन दिस पर्टिक्युलर वैल्यू द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ द प्राइस गोइंग अप और द प्राइस गोइंग डाउन इज फर्दर डिसाइडेड ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वेन एवर वी आर लुकिंग एट मैक डी और मूविंग एवरेज कॉन्वर्जेंस डाइवर्जेंस इंडिकेटर इट इज एन इंडिकेटर विच इज सोली बेस्ड ऑन द एक्सपोनेंशियल मूविंग एवरेज ओके सो द एक्सपोनेंशियल मूविंग एवरेज एट थ्री डिफरेंट इंटरवल्स इज कैलकुलेटेड एंड नाउ द एक्सपोनेंशियल मूविंग एवरेज ऑफ दीज थ्री इंटरवल्स इज देन मॉडिफाइड ओके सो ओवर हियर वी हैव द ट्वेल्थ पीरियड एक्सपोनेंशियल मूविंग एवरेज माइनस द ट्वेंटी सिक्स पीरियड एक्सपोनेंशियल मूविंग एवरेज एंड प्लस द नाइन पीरियड एक्सपोनेंशियल मूविंग एवरेज and now all of this is divided by 3 okay so this is just a way to get a certain value of macd okay so now the 12 26 and 9 these numbers are arbitrarily chosen to be the best suited to get this particular oscillator okay so now the macd indicator depends on a lot of different parameters the first one is the time which is again the parameter which is dependent uh, which is a main factor of all of the moving averages but then we have macd which is a function and it takes in three parameters we have a b and c which are the numbers 12 26 and 9 in this particular case okay so now whenever in trading analysis the value of macd is considered to be very important so now in in this particular case if we have to give scores for if we have to give scores for this particular formula then it will have a score of 5 points which is this can provide the best possible long term view if you want to look at it from an indicator perspective but it can also provide a decent short term view so that is why it has been given a score of 2 on 5 Okay so now let's move on towards the python implementation of macd Okay so first of all we are initializing the variables and it is perfectly fine if you don't understand this code as of now uh, the point over here is to only explain how macd works and how does it look for a particular stock so it is absolutely fine if you don't understand the code then this is a google collab file then i will have it linked in the resources section so feel free to open this file change and tweak with some values and then play with it so first of all we are getting the btc usd data from bitstamp and then the data is at the interval of one day okay so now after getting it we are downloading this data and storing it onto a local file okay so this entire code block is just to download the data and then store it onto a particular file so over here if we look at the files in the colab and if we refresh it then we have a file called as data and this is the file which will contain all of the different price points okay so now that we have the uh, the file which contains all of the different prices now let's import pandas okay so now we are reading the file from reading the file called data and then by taking the content present in that particular file we are creating a uh, we are creating a data set and now from that data set we will be creating a data frame and then we will be using some different parameters based on that data frame so for now we are only reading the file and then storing everything in a variable called as df okay so now let's look at how df looks okay so this is how df looks so we have a date then we have low high and then we have the opening price and the closing price and then we have the volume okay so this is essentially how the data looks as of now okay so what we are concerned with is the opening price and the closing price okay so now let's go down and now let's plot this data okay so on a graph this is how the btc usd data looks for the past 4 years 
okay and whenever we are using macd we are working with very long intervals so that is why choosing this particular approach was necessary so now we have to run a terminal command which is pip install stock stats and this is a python library which we'll be using to get the macd or the macd uh, MACD indicator on this particular training data set. So now we have installed stock stats. It has already been installed. And now from stock stats, we are importing stock data frame. Okay. And after we are doing that, we are calculating the MACD interval. Okay. So with this, we have calculated the MACD values for all of the stock, pa uh, stock parameters. And now let's look at the data frame. Okay, so now we have some fields added over here. So first of all, we have low, high, then we have open, close, then we have the volume fields. And now we have the 12 days exponential moving average, then we have the 26 days exponential moving average. And then we have the MACD. And then we have MACD S and MACD H, which are different uh, different versions of the same MACD indicator. But for now, what you should be considered with is the MACD indicator. So over here, the value is in between zero. Then we have some negative value over here. Then again, the value is zero, zero point something. Then we have a negative value. Then it goes on to be more and more negative. Then we again have a positive value. So in this particular case, the exponential moving of the BTC USD data set is shown over here and the working or the functioning of the MACD data set is also seen over here as it is oscillating between zero and a negative value and a positive value. Okay, so now with this we have successfully calculated the MACD for a BTC USD data set and now the next possible outcome or the next possible corollary of this particular MACD indicator would be to find an extension. Okay, so whenever we are using MACD, we have specified the fixed value for 12 period, 26 period and 9 period exponential moving average. But now over here, there is still scope and development to explore this topic further where we can add coefficients of a, b and c. So currently the value is 1, minus 1 and 1. So if we look at the original formula, the value of the coefficients is 1, then minus 1, then we have 1. So similarly, this particular coefficients can be modified. So over here, various tools like machine learning or genetic optimization can be used to get the optimum value of A, B and C, which can perfectly suit your particular stock. And this is something which is still needs to be worked upon. And if you have the time, then feel free to go ahead and implement a program of genetic optimization and calculate the values of A, B and C. And if you do that, then feel free to talk to me on Discord on my Discord server, which if you have not joined, you should totally do. Okay, so that is pretty much it for MACD. Let's just revise everything once. It is an indicator which acts like an oscillator uh, where you have negative and positive values and zero is the central part. So if the MACD indicator stays at zero, this means that there is no price fluctuation. Okay, so that is pretty much it for the MACD indicator. I hope you found these glimpses from my online course interesting. For more in-depth explanation, hands-on experience and making real-life applications on this topic, refer to the course link given in the description section below.